strays mostly. A few had owners who would show up eventually. One of the guys brought in a thick collie. at the Humane Society at a small office. Hey Ricky, you there? I'm uh, I'm gonna be gone for a while. I'm gonna need you to cover for me. Skiz is gonna wonder why I'm not out on marsh duty or whatever the hell. Hey Deke. What's up? Boozers uh hell. He's depressed or something. Talk to Addy. I think I know a way to cheer him up. So what are you going to do? Oh, uh, I thought I'd maybe head to O'Leary Mountain, get his bike, and bring it back. That's a long way to go on foot. Let's figure something out. Are, are you going to cover for me or what? Geeking out. Boos, are you there? How you doing, brother? Same as always. You still out there chasing choppers? Yeah. You figure out what the hell they're up to yet? Not a clue. What O'Brien told me seems legit. Nero's out here, or they're running field missions, studying the freaks. No idea why. Hey, I gotta get going. Schizo stopped by and said I'd be shoveling shit all day. Tell Schizo to eat shit. Yeah, I'll pass that along. Later. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. Like I told you there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I almost got caught. You know the LC's locked down. You know what? I don't give a no. shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on your chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white space suit. Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, comm was still open before. Don't think of it as like being a peeping Tom. It's more like opposition research. I'll pry it out. It doesn't matter what you so... call it.
068. Another subject exhibiting the morphology of stage 2 infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on? Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. No oh, shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on the baboon for two years. Oh, Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? I thought about it. Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, I think there might still be something buried deep in their massively deformed heads that remembers what they once were. Jesus, you don't think they're aware of No, no, we've done the CT scans. They might as well be brain dead, in human terms. What's that mean? Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> Hope you got all that. Oh, Brian. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here. I heard something. O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! Hold on. Yeah, I'm here. I planted your tracking device and I got your data. The researcher, were they male or female? What? What? Why? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and... No, I didn't catch your name. Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. <laughs> St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Get out. Okay. A job for you. Ricky, hey, um, okay, yeah, I'll check in. Deacon out. Uh-oh, I should stop for fuel.
Hey, I brought you something. Wait, what the fuck? You you went up and got my bike? Well, I didn't want Cope getting it, parting it out. Jesus, Dick. Hey, I mean, I mostly did it, you know, in case I need parts. It's not like your gimp ass is gonna need them. Shit. Thanks, brother. That's the one thing I miss. Riding on the open road. Addie just wanted me to tell you that she paid some men to go get your bike and bring it back. It's over at the mechanic's shop. Oh, wait, what? You're welcome, Deke. Ricky out. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I You're his friend. The only one he's got. Boozer's fine. He'll live anyway. Got good shit in stock today. Uh, hold on, I'll get the boat. How's the work going? Excuse me, I ain't got time to fucking chit-chat. See you later. Yeah, well, you think anything's gonna grow out here? Hey, Addy, you there? Deacon, yes, I'm here. Hey, so, uh, I, I don't think that, that he's doing so well. I, I don't know, I guess I'm really worried about him. Yeah, me too. When he stopped by, he seemed, I don't know, angry, depressed. Look, I'll keep an eye on him. I'll, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Uh, see what I can do. I don't know. You do that, Deacon. A lot to him. Infirmary out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. About a month before shit went down, I wrote in my newsletter, Farewell Freedom. Store a year's worth of food and water. Because I knew, no matter what was coming, we were all nine meals from anarchy. I figured, if I could get a few people prepared, who'd really listen, and maybe we'd survive when it all finally
finally collapse down on our heads. Not as many listen as I'd hoped. Now, those supplies are running out. And folks are going hungry. Remember the parable of the ant and the grasshopper? Well, us ants are prepared and stored for future calamity. That's what the sun was shining without a war in your head for what calamities the future would bring. Now, paying the price. Are we gonna starve? I don't know. Fish runs are thinning out. Game is getting scarce. Can't remember the last time I saw a buck or a doe. But I'll tell you this much. We're not turning on each other. No, sir. We will never do that. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Goddamn truth or bullshit. You know, last I checked, the grasshoppers all armed themselves to the teeth, came in... Oh, here we go. That should be it. Okay, that's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost wh who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they were... No, goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance ah. was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Ah, uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives and like, hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going you on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me. How much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you know, days, huh? hold on. He's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day? What's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe. Mm. From marauders, thieves, and drifters. Don't you knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. You remember some- Both of you, remember! We are all part of the same camp! That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing that black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know that the freaks come out at night. Okay, oh, yeah? come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. 
he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. Deke, I guess I'm just making sure he's not going to have some kind of accident down in that mine. Oh, Jesus, Mike, who do you think I am? I'm still trying to figure that out. See you when you get back. Son of a bitch. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. That hot shower is still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to them. Deacon out. Thought you were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. It's because of why wouldn't you bring their shit back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. And Mike said the explosives are kept locked in strong boxes. Should be a set of spare keys somewhere inside the office. Fucking nuts. God, I hate those little suckers. We finally agree on something. Hey, over here. I think I can boost you on this. Ready? Yeah. Up you go. <laughs> Got it. That's all of them. You okay? Yeah. Thanks for asking. There. Schizo! I got him. 
Great, great. Look around. Uh, see if you can find some flare. Wait a second. You didn't bring a flashlight? Yeah, but the batteries are dead. Shit's getting hard to find these days. At least ones that have any juice left. Flares. Gizzo, I found a box of flares. Yeah, yeah, see if you can force open the door. I'll come in and grab them. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got them. Let's head in. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push. I'm pushing, I'm pushing. There. Wedge it against that boulder. Got it. There. <sighs> Looks stable to you. Stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear. I never said that. And I mean it, if there are any freaks in here, one shot, we'll bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. First expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit. We're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. Here? Yeah. Yeah, looks like they boarded it up. <sighs> well, this doesn't look exactly stable. I thought I already said that. All I got is this. You got the flashlight. You had the honors. And they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. It doesn't seem so bad. Shit now! 
Come on, this way. What are you doing? What's it look like? We dropped them flares. Why? You got the map. This thing's a fucking maze. Gonna need help knowing which tunnels we've checked. We go left here. Got it. Come here. What? Future, man. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. Kept telling him, wearing bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Torres fed for a week. You ever resort to that? lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. Me either. Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Gotta take a closer look. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Gotcha. Come on, we can squeeze through here. Following you. That's a tight squeeze. You got this? Who sits on his ass all day in the camp? Oh, very funny. Come on. Okay, the first expansion area should be around this corner. If you're reading the map right. I'm reading it right. See? You still got the keys? Yeah, right here. Sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Let's go check the other one. This way. Let's double back. Make sure we didn't miss any side tunnels. Excuse me, hold, hold up, hold up. This doesn't seem right. What? What are you talking about? This isn't the way that we came in. What? You think these flares got up and moved themselves? Maybe I got turned around. Oh, now, wait a minute, God damn it! This is the main tunnel. What? It's the... It's the main tunnel. You see the tracks? We weren't following any tracks on our way in. What the hell? But, but these are my flares, damn it. How did it... Oh, someone's fucking with us. Come on, this way. Hold up, hold up. Wait a second. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Excuse me, put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels would be clear this time. No. Ah! What the hell? Ah! 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 Look out! Get your shot! Ah! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit! Where are you going? 
It's got the keys. We gotta catch it. Wait! Come back! God damn it, Schizo! It's getting away! Last of them. So much for the tunnels being clear. I told you what would happen if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw a rock's at him? Supposed to do is useful. Fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need saving. <laughs> Will you let me fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. So, the bros off. Addy said it looked like someone tried to burn his tax off. There's the Rippers, wasn't it? You got a point, Schizo? Had a drifter coming. Word's gone out. The Rippers are looking for two men. Mongols. Sound like anyone you know? Well, as you can see. I'm still wearing the cut. We're not hiding, Schizo. Carlos wants Boozer. He won't have any trouble finding him. But he's gonna have to go through me first.
What'd you do to him? Gotta be something long before breaking the treaty. Long before I... You know what? I don't know and I don't care. Have I killed a few rippers in my day? You're goddamn right I have. And after what they did to Boozer, I'm gonna go right on killing the crazy sons of bitches. Yeah? And Carlos is crazier than any of them. You don't want to be on his shit list, bro. What I just say? I don't care. And I'm not your bro. Remember what I told Iron Mike? Carlos can go fuck himself. Hey, just looking out for you. You're one of us now, right? Yeah, yeah right. Don't worry about me and Boozer. We can look out for ourselves. Bingo. Let me see. Ah, nice. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same as me. I got this. Thanks. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike is just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak likes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, so you don't know that. So glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. Someone out there. Hey, buddy. Someone's inside. Hey, what the hell? Biden out there. Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Find the rockers. Come on. Find him. Mister, my boy's got a little rambunctious. I admit it. All right. Uh, uh, split up. Here, you know? We'll surround him. You come on out and Got it. Watch your back. You know? Ah, give it to him! Hey, sister. I thought you just wanted to talk. Well, I guess. Ah, shoot the assholes! Okay. Men coming! Ah, got it! Ah. Lay it into him! Ah, give it to him! I think that's all the bastards. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we gotta get that box of dynamite. Must have been the same assholes who parted out the bikes. Ride by and they see ours. You figured they'd make an easy score. I guess it wasn't as easy as they'd hoped. You know, I hate to say it, but we actually make a good team, you and I. Well then, don't say it. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizo? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that, but a lot of people know what you've done for your friend, how you've been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, that's bullshit, because Ricky would never go for I mean, She's as soft as and the old Mike man, and he trusts you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. 
Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man in the entire camp. You think about that. <laughs>